Hey everyone, and welcome back to Crypto Empire, where we dominate the crypto market. My name is Connor. So one of the most common questions I get asked in my videos is what exchanges do you use to buy these cryptocurrencies? And it is tough because a lot of exchanges nowadays, they make you KYC. They make you give over your ID. And a lot of these exchanges are restricted to US residents. So in this video, I'll be showing you a top no KYC exchange that has a ton of variety of altcoins that will make your daily life in crypto much easier. This is the Blowfin exchange, and I'll be showing you how to trade spot, buy coin spot, and sell spot on Blowfin in this video. Let's get into it. Having access to a no KYC exchange is a must as we go into 2025 if you are invested in the crypto market. Again, most US exchanges have little variety and a no KYC exchange that allows you to easily buy things is going to make your quality of life a lot easier in crypto. So this is Blowfin. Blowfin is a no KYC exchange. It is a bit newer, but if you look on CoinGecko, they do have a seven out of 10 trust score. All right, I have had a Blowfin account since April of 2024. I've never had an issue with it. Granted, I don't really use it too much, but nonetheless, this is a great option for many people who are looking to sign up to a no KYC exchange. All right, so Blowfin.com, I will leave my link down in the description below. You will be able to get the Crypto Empire Partner link that gives you a few discounts on fees as well as sign up bonuses. You can see it will say start trading on Blowfin and it's partner.blowfin.com slash crypto empire. You click on that link. Now, when you click on that link and you don't have an account yet, it will go ahead and prompt you to create an account. All you need to do is have an email address. All right, you don't have to give any ID, just an email address. Make your account. After you make your account, you will be taken to the home screen here. All right, very simple process. Again, I already have an account. Very simple to make one. It will take just a few moments. Once you go ahead and make your account and log in, this is the home screen. The first thing you're gonna to need to do is know how to navigate the exchange. So what I do recommend with all accounts is always turn on two-factor authentication. To do that, you're going to go to the top and you will go to account and security. And over here in account and security, you're gonna to want to turn on some kind of two-factor, whatever works best for you. All right, go ahead and do that. Once you do that, your account is secure. Nobody can access it but you, unless you give up you know, your confidential two-factor, which you should never do. It's the same thing as essentially your seed phrase with a wallet you own. Anyways, once your account is secure, you're ready to rock and roll. You're ready to use Blowfin for whatever needs you have. So Blowfin does offer spot as well as futures. Futures is leverage. I have made other video guides on how to do that in the past, but for the focus of this video, we'll only be focusing on buying coin spot and selling coin spot. Leverage and futures, it is a professional game and most people don't have any business touching futures or leverage. The attention to detail and how precise you need to be, it is just unrealistic for most people. Anyways, if you wanna dive into futures leverage trading, go for it, but again, we're only focusing on spot in this video. So you will need to fund your account. Over here in the top right corner, you'll see assets. Go ahead and hover over assets and you will have this drop down menu. What you're gonna to wanna to do is click on overview. Now, once you're in the overview, you will see your entire account balance, your total equity. You know, as you can see, it is funded here. If you don't have any money, which you won't in this account, because you just made your account most likely, you're gonna to need to deposit crypto. All right, if you KYC, you can buy crypto directly, but again, you're probably gonna be using something like Coinbase if you're in the US, and you're gonna to need to get it into this account. Now, I never recommend to send from Coinbase directly to an exchange. I always recommend to set, send it to your own wallet first, like MetaMask, and then send it into the exchange. Why? I just don't want Coinbase to see that I'm sending to some random offshore exchange in the say Chili's, because they could flag your account and lock you out. All right, Coinbase is notorious for doing things like that. So anyways, click on the deposit button. Over here in the deposit section, you will go ahead and select the crypto you want to deposit. You can really select anything. Let's say you want to deposit Solana, all right? So you're gonna select the network and probably it's gonna be on the Solana mainnet. So go ahead and click on Solana mainnet. 
here's your address, all right? Copy this, or you can use the QR code, and you can send in your crypto to your Blowfin exchange account, and you'll be ready to use it. You can select any crypto. There's many options to deposit. So anyways, that's how you fund your account. Very important step. Now, once you send your crypto into Blowfin, you will need to get it ready for trading. All right, when you send it in, it will be in your funding account. All right, your funding account is basically where you deposit into and where you withdraw from. You do not trade from your funding account. If you do want to transfer your assets from your different accounts, as you can see, there's a spot account, there's a futures account, there's a copy trading account, as well as an earn or staking account. So now in order to transfer your crypto out of your funding account and into your spot trading account, go ahead and click on your funding account. All right, this is where your crypto will show up that you just deposited into Blowfin. Click on it and it will take you to your assets. So as you can see, I do have some ETH over here in my funding account. Over here where it says transfer, you're gonna to wanna to click on that, all right? Now, select the coin. In this case, it's Ethereum. Whatever coin you've sent in, you're gonna go ahead and select that, and you wanna transfer it from your funding account to your spot account. This is going to allow you to trade. All right, you can select all if you want or input an amount, hit confirm. And there you go. The money has been transferred to your spot account. We'll go ahead and click on it. There we have it. There's that Ethereum just showing, showing up here. And I also have some USDT in this account as well. All right, so once you get your money in your spot account, you're ready to go. It's, it's very simple to set it up, not complicated at all. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do now is go to the top where it says spot, and you're gonna click on that. It will take you to the spot trading exchange. And I will show you very briefly how to use this. So there are a few things, you have the chart here, you do have the order book here. You can see your trade history if you click on it. And then over here on the right is actually where you're gonna go ahead and place your orders. There's a market order, a limit order, or a trigger order. I'll show you how to use market orders as well as limit orders, all right? Because that's all really most people are going to need. It's very, very simple. Now a market order fills you at the exact market price and the market price is displayed here in the middle. Right now it's $97,981.67. If you use a market order, you're gonna get filled at the current market price, and if you do large amounts, you probably will pay a lot of slippage. Be aware of that if you're trading in large amounts. Anyways, over here in the top left, you're gonna see Bitcoin slash USDT. Click on that. It's going to bring a drop down menu where you will see all of the different available cryptocurrencies available to trade spot on Blowfin. There's a lot of variety here, all right? So what you're gonna to wanna to do is select the coin you wanna buy. Let's say you want to go ahead and buy something like, random example, let's say you want to buy Pepe. All right. So this is the Pepe chart. It's like trading view. You can select the time frame, the monthly, the daily, whatever you prefer. Let's say you want to buy Pepe because it just sold off. Not financial advice in any way, shape or form. This video is for educational purposes only, of course. But let's say for whatever reason you want to buy Pepe. All right. So what you're going to want to do is you will select the amount of USDT you actually want to buy Pepe. How much, you, how much USDT you wanna spend. So let's say you wanna buy $100 worth. You can see there's a minimum amount of $18.86. If you wanna buy $100 worth, you will type in 100 USDT here, and this is a market order. So when I click Pepe buy, it will fill me at the current market price. I'll show you, not financial advice. Click on Pepe buy, there you go, it says success and it does appear we can see that the pepe buy has gone through we were able to purchase 5292 pepe um, at a price of 0 0.00001895 for 100 usdt all right and now what i can do is hover over here where it says from buy i want to switch to sell now let's say i wanted to sell this pepe i just bought here it is it says available um, five or 5.2 million Pepe, sorry, not 5,000, 5.2 million. Okay. So that is worth $98. You do pay more fees when you use a market order, which is why I lost a dollar and 88 cents to fees here in this $100 transaction, all right? A 1.88% fee basically. So if I want to sell this, I will go ahead and select the amount I want to sell in USDT, right? I can put 98 
which is the amount I have, or I can just slide the bar all the way to the right, 50%, 100%. This is how you sell using a market order. You hit Pepe sell. There you go, success. Over here in the order history, we can see the new order selling the Pepe has shown up and the proceeds from it. As you can see, was $99.62, okay? So actually we didn't lose too much to slippage. And you can see the fee here, it was uh, just underneath 10 cents. So not bad at all. That's how you buy and sell using a market order, okay? And after you buy it, it will show up in your spot account, of course. You can sell it whenever you want. I'm just showing you how to sell it. If you do go to sell it, you should know how to do that. All right, you can see this blue line on the chart, important support resistance flip level. Let's say you wanna buy Pepe if it does come down here. What you're gonna to wanna to do is use, instead of a market order, use a limit order. Now you're gonna put in the price you wanna buy the Pepe at. So let's say you wanna buy it at the blue line. So you'll see the price, 0 .00001389. 13189. Type that in. The amount you wanna buy in Pepe or USDT, whatever you prefer to type in. Let's say you wanna buy $100 of Pepe at that price or maybe you wanna buy 200, doesn't matter. Whatever you want, okay? This is your exchange account and your money. This is an example though. So you'll type in the price you wanna buy it at and the total amount of USDT you wanna to spend to buy the Pepe at that specified price. You hit Pepe buy. There you go. The order, if we go to open orders over here, now displays in open orders. You can see we're looking to buy $200 worth of Pepe at this specified price. Now when the price if it comes down to this level, your order will get filled. You will buy the Pepe automatically. All right, this is a set and forget type of order, a limit order. Now, if it does get filled, and then let's say you wanna go ahead and sell Pepe in the future at a much higher price. Let's say you wanna sell it at a 100% gain. So we can go ahead and see from this price to a 100% gain, it will basically be these high prices here. 0 .00002685. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is after you have the Pepe in your account, you can put in your limit orders to sell well in advance. You can do this for all of your spot bags actually that you're holding if you wanna do this. All right, make your life a lot less stressful if you choose putting in specified sell prices. So anyways, let's say you have the Pepe in your account and you wanna put in a limit order to sell at a 100% gain. So you'll go to sell limit order and for the price, you'll put 0 0.00026850. Okay, that's a 100% gain from the blue line down here. You'll put in the amount you have. Now, I don't have any available to sell because I don't. I just sold the Pepe um, for the mark from the market order, and the limit order hasn't gotten filled yet. But if you do have Pepe in your account, it will show here in available. And you can s say you want to sell 100% of your Pepe at that price. You slide your bar all, all the way to the right, 100%, and you will hit Pepe sell, okay? And as you can see, there is a minimum amount. I don't have any Pepe right now, so the order won't go through, but if you do have that minimum amount of 1 million Pepe, the order will be in there. And when the price does go up here, the exchange will sell your Pepe and you'll have your USDT. Bada bing, bada boom. That's how you use Blowfin spot trading. Simple stuff, guys, but again, a lot of people I think this video will help a lot of people out, all right? So that's why I decided to make this. If you do wanna use my Blowfin link, I really appreciate your support. It does directly support the channel. Again, the first link in the description down below will be my partner sign up link for Blowfin, but I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial video. So in this video, I showed you step-by-step -step how to trade spot on the Blowfin No KYC exchange. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure you let me know by smashing that like button down below. And if you are brand new to Crypto Empire and you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead right now and smash that subscribe button down below and turn on all the notifications so you don't miss any future videos. Again, you can sign up to Blowfin using my link in the description down below. Regardless, I do appreciate your support. My name is Connor from Crypto Empire and I'll see you in the next video.